Hey guys, it's Tim coming at you from Shit Show 2.0, and today we are going to start a new series on this channel, because we've kind of run out of shit to upload, so we're taking this channel in a new, more sophisticated direction. We are now going to start a series called Snowmobiles for Starters. This is something that me and the guys thought of, we figured it'd be a good fucking idea. Alright. I might sound like a r I I probably shouldn't say that word, but what the fuck ever. I might sound like a retard, but you know what? I know my shit. Alright? This is going to be something that I'll upload at least once a week. Alright? At least once a week. So, you know what? I'm going to be fucking normal, man. And so, hopefully, we can keep you guys busy with this type of shit, working on the snowmobiles, until the winter when it starts snowing. And I'm hopeful to get a fucking GoPro so we can do not only motovlogs, but what I call snowmovlogs on the snowmobiles. Get it? Right? Funny? Ha ha ha. So, this is something where we will be going over some of the common issues that you will have uh, with your snowmobile. It's pretty simple stuff. Something that you may want to know if you are just starting out with your sled. So... Maybe you don't have a whole lot of experience. Maybe you just aren't used to working on a snowmobile or something like that. Maybe, you, you know, you're trying to get into the sport. So, today we're going to do something that is very common and it's a major pain in the ass. Spark plugs. We're going to go over three things. One, what kind of spark plug do you need? Two, how to change a spark plug out. And three... How to uh, how to fix a plug if it's fouling out, if it's wet, if it's damp, anything like that. All right. So step one: What kind of plug do you need? NGK makes two plugs that are very common in sleds. There's the BR9ES and there's the BR8ES. Looks like my camera's being a retard right now, so maybe you can't read that too great. But here I've got the 9, and here I've got an 8. What's the difference, you might ask? Well, I will fucking help you out with that. Alright? Here's a 9. <clears throat> thing to know about a 9 is it has a weaker spark. So, it uses less fuel. So, if you're riding on the trails, and you're not going to be in places where there's a lot of powdery snow, or you mu you're not going to have too much snow getting in on your plugs or anything, run a 9. They're good for that. They'll help you run smooth. That type of shit. Then we got the fucking Hardy 8. If you run them too long, they can destroy your motor. Yeah, but... What they are good for... Sorry, I... I'm waiting on a hay buyer and this sort of truck. So, thing about the 8, it is a stronger spark. So, what does that mean? It burns a little bit more fuel. But it also means that if you're in some powdery snow, you're getting some wetness, some water in your plugs, stuff like that, you can clean it out. It'll kind of burn through that type of stuff, no problem. So, that's pretty much the deal with 8s. Eights are for powder, they're for when you're not on the trail, that type of stuff. They'll burn up the fuel if you're getting a little bit too much fuel to your system, that type of stuff. Alright, now, we've got a snowmobile here, my sled, that I fucking love with all my heart. It is not starting right now, which is good for me, and I know why. Because it's damp in here, and it's cold, it's winter, it's getting close to winter, it's fall. So, the problem is that our spark plugs are cold and wet. So, let me give you an example. And if I could prop my phone somewhere where you can see my sled mobile and not knock over my phone, that'd be cool. Actually, that's not bad. What's up? Alright. So, I've got everything connected. 
I'll give it a yank. The sled's not going to start, right? Get the idea. So our issue here is that we have plugs that are wet, they're damp, so the slide can't get a good spark. So we're going to pop under the cowl, and your spark plugs are right here, they're going to be in the middle of your cylinder. You're going to take your caps off, and you're going to want to try to keep them organized, because if I have the middle spark going to the outside, it could fuck up my whole system. Alright. So, removing a spark plug, if I could grab my wrench, you're going to have your wrench that you are going counterclockwise. That's how you loosen. Alright, you get the idea? So, all you got to do is put your wrench on the plug, get it down on there, give it a yank. They go tight in like half a fucking stretch. So once you get them loose, they come right off by hand. Now, if you look at it, it's McFucking soaked. So, oh shit, I almost dropped that. So we'll get all three plugs out, and then I'll show you what you're going to do when you have wet plugs, they're fouling out. Now just a tip, if you're going to be out on the trails and you're going on a relatively long, long trip, you're going to want to pack extras because you might have a plug foul out on the trail and things might not work for it. It's always good to have a couple of plugs in your pouch because you're always, every once in a while, you're going to switch out your spark plugs to get new ones so that you don't. You know, because plugs get old. So, what you might want to do, because your sled's probably still running on these plugs when you sell them, or when you're getting new ones, you're just going to throw them in your pouch back here. That way, if you need one, if you've got one that's fouling, you can use it. So, if I could run my phone up here, that'd be cool. Alright. Step one. We're going to take some kind of a napkin, we're going to wipe the plug down here where the threads are because it's wet. You're going to get it to dry off a little bit. You might notice that you got some uh, some black powder coming off with it. It's fine. It's normal. That's just kind of like uh, ashes, sort of. So, now that I've got them so that they are drier, we're going to take a, any kind of lighter and warm them up. Alright, this is going to burn up any other fuel that's on them and it's going to get them warm enough. Kind of like if your snowmobile has just been running, it's easier to start. If, when you hit the very bottom of the plug, you might get a little, like, not explosion, but it's going to pop a little bit because there's some fuel that will hide in there. So you just take it and hold it underneath the threads. It'll burn up any fuel if there's anything on there still. It'll burn it up. It'll get your plug a little bit warmer. Because a wet plug can make for a weak, a weak spark and then your slide either won't start or it won't stay running. That's why snowmobiles or any type of motor when it's on choke it doesn't run as well. Alright, I got them dried. So now we're going to put them back in. To put them in, it's just the opposite of taking them out. You spin them in by hand as far as you can. As much as you can until it's like too tight for you to spin on with your fingers. Alright? We'll do that with all three. Because I have a triple. And I will go over that some other day because there are snowmobiles that have two cylinders, there's a couple old ones that only have one. That'll be a future video.
All right. So we've got them in there hand tight. So then we're going to take our spark plug wrench. We're going to have it so that it is tightening our plugs. So we want it to be holding when we press it clockwise. Then it will be clicking back. Good. You don't even need to give it half a spin. It's tight enough. If you get it too tight, you can get it in this point where it won't start your sled. It won't hold anything because it's too compressed, etc. Alright, so now we're going to put our caps on. Make sure they snap, well they might snap on. You just got to push them down on top of your spark plug on the tip. Smack them a little bit. There are some that are like hollowed out right here where this top is full. Um, like this one, this is a this is an eight. If I could show you guys, and it's got um, kind of like a rut in there. That's fine. All right, got them on. Now, if I pray to Jesus, maybe. Good. Don't fall down. Alright. Drop. You cow. If you're gonna be riding, obviously. Fuck. Pin it down. Alright. I'm gonna start it. I'm not gonna tell you how to do that, because if you can't even get spark plugs in your slide, you have no reason to try to start it. I've still got one that's fouling. So, to get your sled started, take one of your plugs out, and you've got an extra over here, so it doesn't matter. If you have good new plugs, your snowmobile should be able to start on one cylinder. I know, crazy, right? See how it's still kind of wet there? So, I'll grab this nine. It's dry, it hasn't been in the slide. And I will drop it. Sweet. This guy. Alright, we'll throw the cap on. Make sure they're all good. Please cooperate. There, close enough. Oh, 
Oh, you hear it? It tried. It might take a little while, too. If your plugs are wet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Make sure your key's out, too. get started. I won't stop until I do. is tiring sometimes. Ow. Slide. I understand. You're not a starting a slide, you're driving yourself fucking nuts.
bitches. Damn. But we got it started. I got it. What, 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 what? a bit when I tried to rev it off that's because I just started it and yeah those other plugs are still wet so whoop whoop howdy <laughs> 